there will be two parts of reporting on environmental performance. The first part is we say to you we will comply with state permits. We have three state permits for the mine, an air permit, a water permit and a mine permit. We have four permits covering the mill, air, water, mine and inlands, inland lakes and streams act. <coughs> we will report every six months on our compliance with those permits. Over the last six months, we have not breached any of those permits. So that's our internal reporting. There will be another part every six months, and that is that Superior Watershed Partnership will be providing an independent reporting on our environmental performance. So they will provide this data, which we will then share at these community forums. So this part is empty because we only just signed the agreements and they are now setting up their system. So in six months' time, Superior Watershed Partnership will be filling out their report card on us, but we don't have that data right now. So I'm about to ask you to vote, and the information you have in front of you is, over the last six months, we've not reached any of our permits around environmental conditions, and we've established independent community monitoring, but it hasn't yet started. So on the basis of that information, I'm going to ask you to cast your vote. Can you please check that your clickers are on? And people have started voting, so please cast your votes. This is counting the votes as they come in. Yep, just the number. You just hit numbers one, two, three, or four. And if you're not sure if your vote's been cast, press the number again just to make sure. You, know, you can't vote twice. Does anyone feel they've yet to cast their vote? 39 votes. Just a moment or two more to check that everyone's had a go. Yeah, if you're in Houghton, please feel free to vote. Is anyone here from Houghton who doesn't have a clicker? All right, we've got 39 votes. Gabby, can we see the... Oh, one more, sorry. And we've got the last vote in. All right, let's see. So this is how it works. You're going to see the results straight away. On exceed expectation, 39%. Meet expectations, 29%. Below expectation, 7%. Need more information, 24%. Are there comments on the information we're providing you or any comments on any of that? Did everyone hear that? No, no. The comment was, uh, you meet my expectations, but it doesn't mean I trust you. Thank you. Are there things that people would like to see us improve on? Sir? One of the uh, requirements on the permits for the mine did not include what the mill required, the ILSA. Why is that? Because wouldn't that affect stream? I would The ILSA permit, the Inland Lakes and Streams Act, um, at, we're not required to have one at the mine site because that act or that permit is actually for the tailings. It's to put the tailings into the pond, and we don't have that requirement at the mine site. So it doesn't doesn't um, the reason you don't need a permit then is because there's no tailings involved at the mine site. That's correct. Sir? Yeah, I think um, one of the things that 
you could do to uh, help ensure that you exceed expectations with respect to the superior watershed is to do what the federal regulatory agencies have neglected to do. Uh, EPA uh, demanded a underground injection control permit that they were working that process for a couple of years. Uh, the state has issued a groundwater permit for the twist discharges. Uh, I personally would like the state's action levels to meet the Safe Drinking Water Act standards. Certainly the uh, Superior Watershed Partnership folks could report on exceedances specifically of uh, Safe Drinking Water Act levels, but neither one of these regulatory agencies, you mentioned that folks, some folks might not trust the state, uh, but neither one of these regulatory agencies have availed themselves of what I call uh, a requirement for Regulator 101, uh, the basics, and that's a comprehensive uh, chemical analysis of a representative sample of the cores that were obtained to define the ore body. So you know exactly what's there, exactly what to treat for, and more importantly, what to monitor for. So if if the uh, Superior Watershed Partnership Group do their monitoring, have that information and do that, then you definitely have exceeded uh, my expectations and my work as a regulator just in another context. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Wattman. Comprehensive chemical analysis on representative core samples. Close enough. <laughs> Brackets SWP. Uh, all right, let's move on to the next uh, performance area.